Howdy friends, this is Randy Taylor, Cherokee Cowboy with today's segment of Word with a Champ for Native Voice One. This is Word with a Champ, here's Cherokee Cowboy, Randy Taylor. Thank you very much to our friends at Wrangler Jeans and Shirts for providing the Wrangler Fall Sports Specials along these stations of Native Voice One from the City of Lights in Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand Casino Hotel. Well, we are now at the halfway mark as round number five concluded Monday night in the bareback bronc riding. Clayton Bigelow from California was aboard Picket Pro Rodeo Bucking Horse from Texas by the name of Scarlet Bell for a whopping 92 and a half point ride. Each round and each event pays 26000 Two hundred thirty bucks and seventy-seven cents. Robertsdale, Alabama cowboy Kyle Irwin was the Alabama slammer in the steer wrestling with a nice three point seven second time. Dakota Eldridge from Elko, Nevada, finished second. Riley Duval, Oklahoma, in third. Indian country is well represented in the team roping, especially the header division. Navajo Cowboy 2017 world champion Eric Rogers from Round Rock, Arizona, and his partner Kyle Lockett from California were a no time in round number five. Brenton Hall, Cherokee, a rookie here from Oklahoma, teamed up with his partner Chase Tryon from Montana, finished sixth tonight with a 6.3 second time, winning over 4,200 bucks. Coleman Proctor, a Cherokee from Pryor, Oklahoma, along with Ryan Motes from Texas, teamed up for a 4.4 second time, splitting second and third in the round, winning over $18,000. In the saddle bronc riding, Jake Watson from Hudson's Hope, British Columbia, Canada, was the winning saddle bronc rider with a 92 aboard Birch Rodeo Company's Lunatic from Hell, a bucking horse from Wyoming. Rusty Wright from Utah finished second with a 90.5 point score on Picar Pro Rodeo's Resist All's Dirty Jacket. A youngster and a rookie, Ty Harris from San Angelo, Texas, was the fastest in the tie down calf roping with a 7.4 second time. Nebraska's Riley Pruitt finished second. Second in the round with a 7-7. Seven, seven. As we are at the halfway mark, concluded with round number 5 of 10, the aggregate is starting to appear in each of our events. Rookie Emily Miller in the winner circle once again with round number 5 and a veteran in the ladies barrel racing 61-year-old cowgirl from Oklahoma. Donna K. Ruhl wins the Cloverleaf Pattern Barrel Racing, sanctioned by the Women's Pro Rodeo Association. She was the fastest time of the week with a 13.56. Amber Lee Moore from Oregon second, Ivy Conorado third in round five barrel racing. The bull riding was very entertaining. War Cry, a bucking bull from Canada of Big Stone Rodeo Company, takes Dylan Swearingen to the winner circle. Rochelle, Georgia Cowboy, rode a bucking bull called War Cry. Kobe Radley from Louisiana was second, Tyler Bingham in third. Tyler Bingham in a third and fourth place split with five-time and defending world champion Sage Steel Kimsey from Oklahoma. We caught up with the winner of the saddle bronc riding, Hudson Hope, British Columbia, Canada's Jake Watson had this to say after a big win in the City of Lights. Um, it's uh, it's awesome. I'm glad to be back here, and it's it's what I look forward to right from the time I left the finals in 16. I had a little bit of trouble and missed it a couple of years, and this year I was determined. I set some goals, and I'm glad to be here again. We caught up with Dylan Swearingen after a big win in the bull riding. Yeah, I've watched Corey Navarro ride, and, and it, it was really cool to me. He Facebook messaged me, and I felt like he said congratulations and everything, and I felt like that was a real cool thing that um, he did that, and it uh, meant a lot to me. Donna K. Rural takes some money in the barrel racing. Here's what the Oklahoma Cow Gal had to say. Oh my goodness, qualifying was, I never let myself really look where I was in the standings the whole time. I just tried to keep my head down and work. And then, I, you know, I lost my dad this year and he dearly loved the NFR. So this is pretty special. He's, he's actually here with me if, in spirit. Episodes of this program may be heard on randytaylorannouncer.com. Compliments of 4B Web Design. Thanks for listening to today's segment of Word with a Champ. For Native Voice One, this is Cherokee Cowboy Randy Taylor. Word with a Champ is funded by the Four Bears Casino and Lodge, located near the beautiful Lake Sakakawea in Newtown, North Dakota, owned and operated by the Mandan Hidatsa in Arikara Nation, Justin Boot Company, and crafted cowboy boots since 1879. South Point Hotel Casino and Spa, home of the Indian National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. And by Wrangler, long live cowboys. Native Voice One, the Native American Radio Service.